Hello and welcome back to our call let's play on Total War Shogun 2 Rise of the Samurai. With me is Adrian. The hello. Hello. <laughs> right. It's been a it's been a week or two. No, not two. That's ridiculous. It's been a week and a half or so. <laughs> <laughs> we were both just wondering what the fuck is going on. Um, ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> don't be insane. Two weeks. <laughs> Two weeks. Absolutely <laughs> not. Anyway. Trash. Trish. Trash. <laughs> um, right, so I uh, I have this uh, Fukuhara Taira army here, and I'm pretty sure I had a, a, my vassal sitting in the forest next to it, so they'll be reinforcing. Still going to be a tough battle, though, because they have a load of uh, Naganata attendants, and I don't. But I have stand and fight, which is pretty good. Um... I also have many towns that are currently unhappy, so I gotta do something about that. Noto's at minus three. That's fucking lovely. Uh, Kaga's Trish. at minus three. Trish. Uh, I'm gonna have to recruit some units here, which is good, because this is my recruitment province. Or at least it will be. Uh, yeah, that's actually gonna be really on. I need to recruit some actual Naganata Levy here for now. Um, and then we have... Another town, Omi, that's currently... Oh god, Omi's gonna fucking rebel, and there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, or is there? Is there indeed? Yeah, I can get this guy over there. Alright, let's do that. Fly, you fool. Is that gonna help? Yes, just about. Alright, now Mino is unhappy, but that's okay. We'll just chuck one unit in there. Um, I have no units fucking spare. that guy over. <clears throat> fucking run in there. Um, I can actually recruit that Monomi as well now, which is pretty sweet. Uh, might want to do that soon. I also want to use this one to pay off this guy, but I can't do that because the town will rebel. Which makes me think that if my guy were to... If they actually kill any of my Junsa Sushi, this, this town will rebel, which is going to suck. I also have to build some buildings with all the money that I have. All this cash that I can splash right now. That cash money. Cash money, y'all. Uh, anyway, so... What to do... Will I ever use this artisan's building? I don't think I will. Unless I recruit some bow warrior monks, but that seems unlikely. That I'll ever actually do that, to be completely honest with you. Uh, <laughs> let's build a military port or a harbor here. <laughs> honest. Let's be honest. Uh, let's build that building, actually. Alright, 143 bucks left over. Sweet! Shall we do a battle, my good man? I think it's time. To battle. To battle! Yes, my guys are in. Hell oh man, yeah, that's a pretty decent brother. army as well. That's way What's bigger than I thought it was. Uh, right, let me press the button so you can see. Yeah, those oh pretty... my god! Yeah, it's pretty scary what they have, but I have a lot of reinforcements from my vassal. Who oh, I will... and they got, they got the, yeah, they have the improved morale as well. Okay, yeah. so dude, they, the fucking Tyra have a daimyo, son and heir, and two generals in this army. This is like their entire family right yeah, here. Yeah, holy shit, that's crazy. We are about to yeet the Tyras out of existence. <laughs> <laughs> Except that'll spawn a new general there. Oh wait, wait, so I don't I don't get to participate? I mean I can give you some shit. No, but... no, it's said for me to spectate. Is that usually yeah, what it Yeah, says? that's that's it's normal. Oh, yeah. motherfucker. See, this is what happens when we don't record. <laughs> <laughs> for a week and a half. Week and a half, man. Fuck man. Yeah. I'm all I'm all fucked up, man. I don't remember what's going on up, no more. Dude. <laughs> High as a kite right now. This is Tyra, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. It would be cool if I could give you the Kitabutake forces, but I don't think I can. Dude, that would be sick as balls. Yeah, that would be pretty fucking sweet. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm just going to park here on this on this hill, and I'll let the Kitabutake do their thing, and then I'll just kind of follow in after them, because I'm not going to sacrifice my men. If, uh, if I can use vassal men to do I mean, that. I mean, tell me this, man. If the Kitabataki get destroyed, can you beat the Tyra? You think? Oh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to let them die altogether. I will I will go in with them, but I'm, I'll let them go first so they can take the arrow fire, basically. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because uh, I was going to say, with the, with the force concentration, and if you were to use the stand and fight, we should be fine. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I'll definitely I will help them. I just want them to take the arrow fire first. We'll see exactly if they just start sprinting in. I should probably, yeah, let's just move up right away. I'll also pass you some uh, some units to flank General's with in a minute. Oh, that's 
Dude, I fucking love it, dude. I fucking love it. Your your fan base. Somebody commented. They're like, dude, this whole series has just turned into an unexpected meeting. <laughs> an unexpected <laughs> meeting. Me in hindsight. Yeah. You have no idea how happy that comment made me. I still need I still need to put that in the description or something as well. I, no, 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 no. <laughs> I think you timestamped it on Discord, so I, I can easily find it. I just need to do it. Remember I should, it. Dude, and then and then to, and then tomorrow's episode on Saturday, uh, I'm gonna timestamp. I will be the first person to timestamp where my burp is. Oh yeah, your burp <laughs> on episode eight. I think that will be. I think because because what seven seven just released or nine? I don't even know. I think I seven know. just released. Yeah, so eight's the next one. I believe. I think it's on episode eight. Yeah. Do you believe? Do you believe? Love and love. You know what's up? Oh, no, no, episode 8 just released, so what, is it on episode 9? Fuck, I don't know where it is, dude. Oh, yeah, then, okay. I forget what episode it was, I gotta find it now. Yeah, that's a good thing we're recording, because we're almost out of episodes. This is 11. Which the people watching this will know, as they clicked on it moments ago. Is it is it 11 already? Yeah. Fuck. E. 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 Let's see, Kitabatake. Why are you running? Yeah, they're fucking. Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? You. <laughs> Por qué corres? <laughs> how do you say? How do you say? Why are you running in Dutch? Um, waarom ren je? That's cool, man. How do you say it in Spanish? I just said it. Por qué corres? Oh, that's oh shit. Okay. Or, 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 por qué corre, I guess, you know? Okay. Yeah. How do you say it in Japanese? Ashino Korini. Yari Ashu, Ashigara Nikazaimas. Yari amazing. <laughs> okay, why are his. Oh, those are his reinforcements that are retired. Okay, okay, I get it. God, he's got a lot of bows, dude. Dude. He's got a lot of bows, dude. 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 I gotta admit, his knocking on attendance are actually kind of scary. Actually... For sure, yeah. For shizzle. For sure. Manizzle. That's alright. We got stand and fight, my broski. Oh, God. This guy's still running, dude. His men are gonna be so exhausted when he gets into combat. I think he walked for a second just then, but now, yeah, now he's running again. Oh, it's see, now he's switching. He keeps switching to walking and then running, which is not smart. I like how he's got one Nagarata Levy at the back, like, protecting his generals or something. It's fucking smart-ass AI over here. I know, they, they always fucking keep a Nagarata Levy in reserve. I guess makes it, it makes sense if someone actually is charging your general, and this, I, I feel like it doesn't happen that often. Yeah. I'm gonna pass you to use four on the flank. Oh, shit, I think I passed you an archer as well. I passed that one back if you want. But yeah, use those to uh, basically kind of go around the edge. that dude back over here. God damn it, you tire up pieces of shit. He's got a lot of troops, bro. You tire up cunt! He's got a shit ton of generals, too. He has four general units. <clears throat> oh! Oh! Oh, oh shit. Oh. Are they charging us? This is know. fucking wild. All right, uh, his over. attendants on the left are super, super. Uh, they're super. They're super, like, tired. They are pretty super. Should we, should we charge him now? What do you want to do? Yeah, I'm going in. But yeah, just take your units all the way around the flank. Charge! Charge, man! Ed's ready! Yari Kachi! I'm gonna try and help out to keep the Patake a little bit as well. Uh, he's got a lot of troops. Oh no, yeah, he's actually transferring Naginatas to the right flank against the Kid of Patake. Dude, you know what we, you know we should do? We, can, we should see if we can charge those generals in the middle. He's, he's actually I think you're gonna get to him too that would be lovely uh, oh he's got firebomb for us too I actually kind of wish I had some more command over there fucking general being Go, a great man. danger and all that all right it's time to stand and uh, fight uh, great danger uh, no time to stand as well as fight Oh fuck, I've done it in the wrong direction, son of a bitch. He's going all the way down to far- Oh, he's going across this hill or something. I don't know what the fuck's going on. No, he's just sitting up there. Alright, it's got most of my units in it. 
<laughs> Got the same tune. Oh, we do. Yeah, I think I think the music is the same for each of us. That's fucking oh amazing. Oh my god, bro, we gotta we gotta envelop this fucking center right here, dude. He's in such a disarray. Yeah. Jesus, let me see if I can get behind him. That's why I gave you those broskies. I'm just gonna, I'm, just, I'm, I'm gonna extend super super fucking wide. Let me see if I can do this, super bro. Super hard. Super fucking just thick. <laughs> thick as fuck, bro. Fucking thick, dude. Okay. No one will escape. This unit's dying. Let's get him out of here. Protect the general. Oh my god, come on, guys. Come on, babies. What What the hell? These guys are not doing what I'm asking them to do. I wouldn't either, to be honest. I'm not gonna I'll fully orders that! I'll be gentle. Alright, alright, go, boys. Let's do this, boys. Oh my god, this is a complete encirclement. This is... This is a battle of Kanai proportions of encirclement. This is a thing of beauty. It's so it's so beautiful that my computer's lagging. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's that beautiful. On a skill from your computer being okay to your computer dying. <laughs> How beautiful is it? Fucking death. <laughs> <laughs> my lord! My lord! No! Nice. No! Kill him! Kill everything. We're gonna go Don't all let the kills right there. We uh, have an encirclement! Uh, Fuck you, game! Kill more! Kill them all! <laughs> no! Close victory. That army should be annihilated! <laughs> Man, I mean, we killed a decent amount of them before, they, before the game was like, nah. It's like, yeah, the Daimyo and the Generals are all gonna survive. <laughs> they crawled yeah. out of there successfully. This is a bad day! A cutting blow! What was it you thought it was again? Oh, I thought it was the catchy broke. Oh yeah, the catchy broke. <laughs> no, but dude, that's the thing is, it sounds it sounds like it makes <laughs> sense. It sounds like it makes sense. What's up with your SSD, bro? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck. All right, here we go. Dude, you might need to, you might need to check the integrity of that bitch. It seems like it's slowing down a little bit. All right, a closer victory. A I closer victory. I disagree. <laughs> there you go. Right, can I reach them? Yeah, I def uh, I mean, I can, but I'd be, I'd be, <laughs> I'd have to go into enemy territory to do so. I guess I could take Kyoto, but we said we don't want to do that yet. So, um, Yamato. I mean, unless unless you feel strong enough, I don't fucking know, dude. Nah, I don't know. I don't want to deal with that right now. I'm gonna ask the Watanabe for some military access. Actually, let me first check if they want to peace out, because I guess that would be enough. Yeah, they do want to peace out. All right. Then I guess I won't kill them off. Ah, oh, dude, destroying that army though would be so nice. I know, but okay. Let me let me see if I can get military access. Yeah, do the do the Watanabe want uh, military access? Can you get it? I will listen. I can offer ten for five. Because they're, they're at war with the tyrant, right? Uh, they oh they are yeah. So I mean I don't know if you have too much of a risk of an attack oh, from them. I can ally them. Oh dude, maybe that yeah. I still know. need. I mean to, he's there, he's chilling there anyway. It's like you might as well. Yeah, I don't have to, I don't have any reason to take him out. So yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. take that. I still need to offer him Fuck it, yeah. some. Some military access, military yeah. Access, and, I mean, yeah. and then if he attacks you, then it's like, okay, big fucking deal. At least, we, at least we killed off the Tyra, and you can get a piece with them. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I, yeah, I, I think there's a couple of generals in the army, so we really shouldn't let them live. I agree. Let's see if I can get some money for this not a, or if this uh, military access. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dude, dude, I swear somebody's got to get offended by fucking by <laughs> impersonation. Yeah, ironically, I don't think I've got many Japanese viewers. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> That's hilarious. Die. All right. Yeah, dude, cool. Get to the fuck out of here, man! It's so tempting it, just to run into Kyoto and take it, but I. I, I know, right? Just don't know if that triggers on the I assume it does. I think it probably does. I think it probably does. We would become the the Shogun, or at least you would. Shogun. <laughs> um, I wonder if the Ishikawa, Ishika, Ishikawa. Yeah, that's the one. What a... Are they a vassal of the uh, Tyrant? I thought they uh, were. Ooh, they're actually I Minamoto. Mean, I could just pop, I could just buy that town. Dude, probably. that would be great. Fuck yeah. 
As to the I can't well, I gotta admit, you, you kind of have a lack of Jutsu Sushi around the immediate area. You actually have two in Omi, which yeah, is Yeah, I got good. two, yeah. They gotta be there for uh, happiness for the moment. But yeah, uh, the uh, ironically, the um, the Ishikawa, who are Minamoto, are allied to the Fukuhara Taira. Tyra. I think they start the game. I think this. Uh, I think they start the game allied. Oh, that's that's fair. All right, well, so you can you can probably convince it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna see if I can buy it right now. If I can get my army in that, in Omi, then I don't need to have my agents there anymore. Let me just get some uh, some cash. Oh, they're pay me pay me at least a thousand. Oh, two thousand. Oh, three thousand. Oh man, these war reparations are amazing. <laughs> okay, not quite five. Four. Can you can you get um can you get like per overturn over turns or per turn or, or no? You can yeah, but I don't trust these guys to live up to that agreement. I can get at least thirty-seven fifty right now. No, thirty-five hundred. Thirty. Can I get thirty-six fifty? Pretty decent. Nope. Can I get thirty-six hundo? Thirty-six hundred. All right. Yeah, Pretty good deal. Thirty-six hundred. Uh, thank you very much for this money. All right now. Can I get back into Omi? Uh, oh fuck! I what? fucked myself. What? I don't. <laughs> I don't have military access for Kyoto <laughs> anymore because I wasn't war. I should have moved first and then pieced out. Oh. Son of a bitch! Uh, all right, let's see if I can. And get... you can't cancel military access at all? Uh, no, I mean, I'd, I'd have, I mean, I mean, I'd have to buy it from them. Let me see if I can. I'll offer no, for, no, from the Watanabe. Like an oh, that, that doesn't. That doesn't matter. Cause, Cause you can't like cancel it and then they revert oh, back to your province? that's... hmm. But then I, I'd be on trust already, which I don't want to do. Push comes to shove, you just have to retreat uh, through Kitabatake. It can't take that long, right? Maybe a couple turns? Yeah, I mean, I can run I can run into Iga and then up north. But I'll see, I can just buy um, military access, which that's fine. I don't... From the Tyra? Yeah. Speak I'll offer 10, demand 5. I wouldn't to trust them, but I... Right. Right. I mean, I don't, but they just pay me a bunch of money, so it's all good. Let's see if they pay me a little bit more money for this uh, non aggression or this um, military access. That's the second time I said that now. We pay me ten. The military access. Will you pay me one bitch coco? No, they will not. All right, fine. It is the uh, bitch coco. Bitch coco. All right, get back to Omi. Can't fucking make it. I put my general in, but then I don't replenish, which is a bit annoying. Mm -hmm. Um. This place is actually going to be okay now, so I think I can take this agent out. Can I purchase Kawachi? 63% chance for two grand. Uh, be warned. That's Unless actually the pretty the... good. Will it be an act of war if I fail? No, right? Is this their uh... fault? They only have one time, right? Shikawa, yeah, it looks Shikawa. like it. Yeah, fuck it. Purchase it. Will it be an act of war? It's a pretty crap army they've got, but I get I guess I got two generals, which is pretty sweet. I don't know if you get the whole force, maybe. I don't know. I'm not I don't even know. I don't even know how that works, but fuck it. Uh, fuck it, man. Alright, I'm I might wait a turn. I'll do I can always do it next turn. Right, let's um let's build some buildings for the love of It'd be of nice God. if they move that army out. I need to change this building over because I can't recruit uh, cavalry here. Why didn't I do that before, you stupid prick? I can upgrade this fort. Which, do I need to upgrade where are you, this Where are you developing? Uh, where Kaga. Are you developing? Kaga. Kage. Oh, you didn't do it before because you didn't have the money. Yeah, but I gotta break it down first, which I, I didn't even do yet. Like an idiot. Uh, let's just build a bunch of barter exchanges, actually. I just need to make some money. Oh, me, you get a barter exchange. Everyone gets a fucking barter exchange. And you get a barter exchange. Let's and you get and you get a barter exchange. Let's exchange some I, I fucking need to, barters. I need, to build some, I need to build some fucking markets. And I have like a couple iron mines, and I have a gold mine. Damn, that's fucking that's wild, trash. my friend. I I just I haven't had any money because I've been trying to get this damn army together. You know, <clears throat> it's fucking straight trash. Trash. All right, I'm building a couple Buddhist sanctuaries to get some soup as well. Tunnel. Su, 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 Tunnel. Uh, Alright, I think that's it for me. Let's. Oh, and the Kitabataki army got teleported back to their own town. Nice. Perfect. Sweet. 
Sweet. Perfect. Uh, I'm doing Perfect. that. Yep, sounds good. Uh, any other trade I can get? No. I'm only at war with one more clan, Yamakasu, who have been at war forever. They are in my territory, and I'm two turns away from being able to purchase their town, so I'm still waiting for that. Next turn is going to be 49.9. Rip. Uh, uh. Buying it probably means I go to war with these people, though. Oh, yes. oh my god, <laughs> why? straight past. Fucking pieces of shit. You garbage. Trash. Trash. Well, so now, I, now that means I probably have to engage their army. Either that or I go for a bridge battle again. What do you think? Uh, yeah, that's what I was wondering as well. I, I guess look at what the army is and then decide from that. Uh, okay. Okay. Because I kind of I want to destroy the army and then just go on the offensive. Yeah. It's like my best course of action. Mm. Oh, this piece of shit, dude. One more turn. If he, if he doesn't attack me for one more turn, I can just purchase the town from behind him. It That's will so be nice. a thing of beauty. A thing of beauty. Ah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet, for real? Right, hold on, let me take a look at this. Take a look at my girlfriend. Uh, okay, so I got I got Samurai away. I want to go for the old way for the replenishment. I'm going to go for the old way. Strong okay, so way. this... This fucking force, man. This this force is trash, okay? Trash. Hold on, let me see here. Distract army. Ooh, dude, that would be so nice if I could distract the army. <clears throat> see, entertain general. No, I don't really have any problems with loyalty. Loyalty. <laughs> I can distract an army. I can distract the main army for 1,100 bucks. It's a 25% chance. I don't think he would withdraw, though. What What is in the main army? What? Are you kidding me? Oh, dude, Donkey, I have to attack this guy. I'm in his zone of control. Oh. <laughs> well, what you can do, technically, what... you can attack him, then and withdraw, right? and then you should be able to get to where you want to go. But, I mean, you've got foot samurai. I forgot about it. you got six foot samurai and three more in reinforcement range, which you could bring in as well if you wanted to. You could probably just oh, fuck him up. I don't know what he's got in there. My, get... my my guess is he may withdraw unless I get this. All right, I'm going to try this distract. Oh, okay. Failed anyway. That's all right. An expected result. I have I have the siege music playing. <laughs> nice. Do you have that too? No, not this time. It happens all the time for me as well, though. Fucking hell, man. Fucking hell. That's Let's really see, annoying. What do I, I, I want to build in Sagami? I could get a harbor or a military port. I'm leaning towards the harbor, though. I don't actually know if I need it, though. I could recruit more troops, but I'm also like, yeah, I don't even know if I need more troops right now. I think I'm actually okay. I kind of want to focus more on the economy. Fuck it. Harbor it is. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. All right, we're going we're gonna to try and attack this hard me. They got pretty much trash. A lot of Naginatas, a lot of bows. Oh! <laughs> you ran away. Oh my god. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> I ran so far. I ran oh, so far on, away. Oh, man. You gotta be kidding me, dude. What the fuck is that? What do I do now? <laughs> can you still reach him? <laughs> no. Can you re can you get in the control zone? My general with the... could probably reach yeah, him. That's what My I mean, general yeah, my general could probably reach him. As long as you can get to the bubble, then you're fine. Oh my god! Now now I can't even use those fucking foot samurai as reinforcements. That's such bullshit, dude. Oh, the extra free, yeah. Is it just an oh army full god. of Naganata levies? Uh. And bow levies. Um. Oh my god! So they have two generals that are almost completely depleted. They have. They have a son at 39 men. Shit ton of Naginata levy. Dude, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight archers. Mm. Eight. Eight. You have Okay, so what 12. are we doing here? So what, we attack with the general? Yeah, for sure. For shizzle. My nizzle. Oh. <laughs> this is some bullshit. Now, do I attack with the primary general or the secondary? Like my diamond? Uh, depends on who you want to get experience to. Your second one would level up if you attack with him. So I take him out. Alright. Am I in this bubble? 
What do you think? Am I? I think so. Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. Okay. <laughs> Dude, what if I just honor all there right now? I can't see it, but is it really that <laughs> bad? <laughs> Nah, dude, that means, that means oh, no, no, that's worth fighting. That is worth fighting. It is a worth oh, fighting. A daimyo and two of his sons. Rip. Yeah, dude, we're, they're, they're all gonna die right now. I wish, dude, I wish that distraction would have worked. I wouldn't have to do that shit. They retreated so far. Yeah, Ooh, it's annoying. This is good terrain. This is good terrain. What if this was oh. Rome 1 and you your reinforcements would be delayed? How shit oh, would that be? Oh my god, I forgot that that was a feature, dude. Yeah, they, they removed it from the oh. remaster, but... Dude, I meant to ask you, bro. I meant to ask you. Okay, so this was actually a pretty interesting thing I was thinking about. Somebody suggested us doing a co-op campaign on Thrones of Britannia. Oh, I've actually Would had some people ask me. Yeah, I've had some people ask me to play Thrones of Britannia again. And I kind of wanted to a while ago. Yeah, I'd be up for that. I mean, I just want to do more co-ops with you anyway. I feel like at, at, right now, anyway, I just, I want to, if this one finishes, I want to jump into the next one. And then if that one finishes, we jump into another one. I want to basically just do like a constant Co-op. That'd be fucking cool. Series yeah. of you. But yeah, that's that's my current thought process, and I don't know what that's like in two months from now, but for sure. For Shizzle. Yeah, really and Frozen Britannia, yeah. man, I, I want to play that again sometime, so yeah. yeah. Hey, oh, you know, it's funny. I played it the other day. I was playing on my own, and uh, honestly, you know, it's kind of funny. It's actually not a bad Total War game. Like, it has a lot of good mechanics and kind of interesting mechanics and shit. What's interesting is the world feels so empty. Yeah. So it's like it's like it's a good total war game, kind of, but it's not a good game. Because the world just kinda lacks personality. It's kinda strange. Yeah, I, I can't really describe it. One the, the main thing I liked about it well not that's that sounds weird, the main thing, but one of the main one of the things I really liked about it when coming from like Attila and Rome two, um, was the, the character art or the character like cards anyway. Like that, oh, dude, they were beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. it's such a minor thing, really, like, realistically. It doesn't change gameplay or anything, but just having those... I don't know, for some reason, it just makes the game feel a lot better. Oh, a general. Okay. I don't know, yeah, it's just... Yeah, dude. The, the character art for the for the unit the unit cards is just... It's it's such an important thing, despite not really doing anything. Um, what am I going to do here? Okay, I'm going to give you the archers... I think I'm gonna hang on to the Naginadas. Uh, let me see. Here. Sounds good. I think I want to do like a, a foot samurai front line and then Naginadas on the flanks. Sounds good. And you fucking with trash, trash, trash. Damn it. Yeah, yeah. Man -burbs. yeah. Do you, have you ever have you ever seen the show uh, The Last Kingdom? I don't think so. Oh well, I definitely recommend it first of all. But yeah, the, basically, uh, Frozen Britannia is really that exact era. Like The Last Kingdom takes place during like Alfred the Great's like. Oh yeah, to, the first king of England. Yeah. yeah, so trying to trying to unite England basically. So you've got Mercia and Wessex and all that stuff. Um, so no, it's like, dude, you know what you know what I found really impressive. Um, about Thrones of Britannia is the graphics. Everything from like the unit details to the armor, yeah, the it looks blood, so the, much the better scenarios. than Room Two and, and Attila, even though I'm pretty sure yeah, it's the same engine. Yeah, dude, it's it's there's a lot of detail in it, you know, and and, and like there's like this artistic quality to it because everything's kind of green and gray and drab and and shit. And then, dude, like you have these big ass battles. There's fucking blood everywhere, and there's yeah. bodies and shit, and like you know, there's like there's like little rose bushes of like with blood splatter on them and shit. Yeah, I'm like, dude, that's a pretty nice attention to detail. The other games don't have shit like that. Yeah, I really, I really you like know? the like the the graphics. I also really like the recruitment feature, of like your high tier units being only available every couple of turns. It just yeah, it, it makes you keep using value lower tier more. stuff yeah and you value them more and it's yeah it's just it's a cool system and then also the fact that you can recruit them instantly it's similar to uh three kingdoms where you recruit them on the same turn but then they only spawn in with a small group and then you have to replenish them over time like that kind of thing that i think that's why they did it in three kingdoms because they tested it in friends of britannia and they liked it but like it, as far as saga games go not counting follow the samurai because it's not a fucking saga game in my opinion but yeah, not counting that one like as far as those games go i think Frozen Britannia is was a lot more fun than Troy. 
I played, Dude, like, me too. I played one me and a half too. campaign on Troy, and I played like four Dude, or five I didn't, campaigns I didn't even on Troy. I finished campaign on Troy. I finished one, I didn't even finish but it was a it was the, it was one of the most. Yeah. I mean, people who are if anyone's watching this, you and you watch the the Sarpedon campaign as well, people will remember that I it was fucking frustrating. I was constantly like, oh, I just want this to be over. This is ridiculous. Like, it just wasn't fun in the end. And and that's the thing. That's what was so interesting about it. It it it, it was funny. I kind of had the same problem with with Troy that I did with Throne of, Thrones of Batania, but a little less. It's like, dude, the world, despite being so kind of rich, sort of kind of, was very boring. Yeah. There was no personality to anything, you know? And what also pisses me off, please, CA, if you ever hear this, stop doing this. They only allow you to play, like, literally, like, five or six factions, seven factions, and, like, even those factions have a couple different leaders, but it's the same starting position. I'm like, dude, why not let people play anything? Okay, why not make it a sandbox? I mean, let, let yeah. everybody play any faction they want. I mean, on, on the one hand, I agree. On the other hand, it's it's resources, obviously. Like, I know they made the factions, but a lot of the factions, especially, like, for example, Troy, if I remember, remember correctly, that even, like, a lot of the factions that were unplayable share the same culture as factions that are playable. So I guess in that case, maybe it, it wouldn't be that much more trouble to actually make them playable, I guess. But I don't know. There, there's usually reasons behind that. It has to do with budget and stuff, I imagine. I don't, I don't know. You, and it's funny. Here's, here's why, here's why I believe that. Oh shit, they're on the left. Oh fuck! Ah! Is you? <laughs> yeah, I see him. I was Are just following you. Us? Nah, they're just sitting there. They're just reforming. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, dude, what, dude, this is an excellent position for us to attack from. Check this shit out. All right, I'm gonna line up like this. Check this shit out. Now. Uh, we're a little wide, but that's okay. I'll. Uh... Yeah. I'll... Well, well, let's let's let our men walk and and we'll get close to them. Yeah. Because uh, in my opinion, because of the foot samurai and then our decent archers plus the armor, I think we would probably win a, uh, a duel. Yeah. Is that what we want to do though? Do we want to do a duel? Nah, I mean, or you think we should rush? We, them? We've got twelve archers, so I think we just we yeah we fire at them for duel a while. Duel them out. Yeah, we duel them out. If anything, they might come towards us. You can I'm, even I'm... just use that trick where you you try and get their like one or two of their archers to move forward towards your twelve archers, and they just not annihilate unit at a time. Uh, that's actually probably not a bad idea. All right, I'm just gonna keep an eye on the. Uh, yeah, Troy. The, like uh, I, 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 I don't know. I like some things about it. I like the, um, uh, the, the multiple resources. Oh it was, shit! It was a cool oh, idea. Hold on. It, it was. It was. But what's what's interesting is. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I I like the like. Don't get me wrong. It'd be cool to maybe see that implemented. But in a historical aspect, instead of the whole fantasy thing, the fantasy thing kind of didn't take off for me. No, I that's that was my yeah, problem. Yeah, that's still the thing. I I'm not a huge fan of the single entity stuff. Like a Free yeah. Kingdoms is one of my well, I have said on multiple occasions, it is my favorite Total War game. I think maybe Shogun Two has taken over that spot again. It keeps switching. They're really close to being my favorite Total War game or favorite game in general. But, um, but yeah, I even Free Kingdoms that I love. I love the campaign and everything about it. I love the, the single unit entity characters on the campaign map being actual unique characters and, you know, not like a generic general in this game. Like a daimyo is just any other general basically in this game. But I don't like the single entity units on the battlefield. Like that just, it just doesn't work for me. The fact that you can win battles of just using your free generals is just kind of ridiculous. Like it just doesn't, it's not fun for me. The whole battle aspect is super unbalanced in, in Free Kingdoms. Shogun 2 has, to my, in my opinion, the best battles in Total War games. That said, I don't yeah. really play Empire and, and Napoleon, so they might have really good battles too, but I just don't play those. But they, for the games that do. I play, this, this, this is just as good as it gets in, in Total War. No, no, and I, and I agree. I actually do think prob probably besides... Well, no, actually, yeah. Total War Shogun 2 probably has the best battles of any Total War, and I'll tell you why. It's because... It's it's kind of that rock paper scissors thing. Yes. Everything is pretty balanced. Yeah, it's right? the, this so whole it's game like, is so balanced. It's great. And and that's what I love about it because that when you have equal and, and opposing compositions of forces, what matters is your tactics, your strategy, your formations. Yes. yes. You know, the the attack. Yes. Uh, and that, and that's the thing. I I like that aspect of of Shogun 2 because I think it's perfected. I think I think some of that started to get there in Empire. It just kind of wasn't always there you know some battles sometimes are kind of boring like for example you find line battles boring i love them but that just differs based on the person yeah you that's know? yeah People exactly different opinions about that i don't think they're okay i don't think they're, they suck or they're shitty or anything i just personally don't oh, like them that much what's going on here hold on 
They're just reforming. Yeah. They're getting a little... Well, they were, I was going to say, they were getting close into archer range. Yeah, they're getting a little, getting a little antsy. Yeah. But yeah, you're, so, you're and, right. And like, that's what... Good one. That, that's what I like about the battles. Um, in, in Empire, and then specifically in Shogun. Um, they're, they're so balanced. Okay, let's let's start doing this. You know, you, you depend entirely on your, your composition. Th that's pretty similar. You know, you can most of the time use the same tactics, that kind of thing. So your positioning, your strategy, your terrain... You know, your stamina, shit like that really matters. Yeah. And I feel like in games like Warhammer, I feel like in games like Troy, it doesn't matter as much. And that's what pisses me off. I'm like, dude, am I playing a fantasy game or a strategy game? Which one is it? They're yeah. not the same. No, I know exactly what you mean. Like, that's that's the, one of the reasons or why I don't like certain Total War games is because strategy is completely unimportant. It's all about unit quality and... Uh, also in war in, a, in Warhammer's case like debuffs on playing on higher difficulty the enemy just having so many buffs as opposed to your debuffs that it's there's just no point even even trying because it try, strategies don't matter like the only thing you can do is put in a general into a billion units and then put a bunch of magic on that shit like it's just it isn't fun to me at all and then in Shogun 2 like every unit has its value like I know I always ran like I always go off on like cannons and stuff being crap and they kind of are but they still have a use, and every unit can be used in this game. You can win every a campaign of every unit. I mean, there's so many people that always think, "Oh, you hate cannons, but I once won a campaign with them." Yeah, I mean, sure, that's the whole that's the, the whole thing. You, you can do that because this game is so well balanced that even the shittiest units are still kind of okay, and the best units, I mean, except for Yari Ashigaru, are good, but they're not like so OP that you don't you can you can't win by using anything else. Like, it's just it's it's just so good. Yes, yes, I, I agree entirely. I agree entirely. And and the, yeah, I, I agree with you. The, the the buffs and the generals and the fucking crazy ass magic and all that shit. It just it's just not my thing. I understand people like that kind of thing. I just don't like it that much. No. You know, I like I like historical based games. I like my strategy. I like my terrain, my compositions, I like my encirclements. It's like a game of chess. It's like, dude, you, you guys you really gotta think about what you're doing. Yeah. versus one piece being the strongest piece out of all the pieces yeah exactly that's not interesting to me no you know? uh, the fact that maybe you, the fact that you can uh, win like shogun 2 with just ashigaru units like that that is just good to me i know you can do that in, in other total war games as well like in, in warhammer i know um legend is, has done many campaigns where he only uses like the early shit but i don't know it just it doesn't feel as good as it does in shogun 2 i think all right, we might be sending in. Uh, let me try and go for this general. We might be sending in this foot samurai on this one. Although, dude, we are fucking these guys up. Yeah, we're we massacring them. All right, I'm gonna throw on some whistling arrows, I think. Ooh, whistling arrows, fucking hell! Who's got that? Is it the foot samurai? The foot samurai have it. Oh, sick! Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, they're fucking beast, dude. Oh my god, we are tearing these fucking Naginatas up right now, dude. Um, can you focus fire on the generals? Yeah, I am. Or actually, why I'm with, with the, yeah. Let me do some other. Yeah, let's see, can, let's see if I can get in here. Okay, we're enveloping them. Damn, these foot samurai with the armor, beast, dude. Beast. I got some Naginatas in their general actually, so we might be we might be okay here. I think we're actually gonna be fine. What the fuck is this foot samurai doing? Oh shit! Did he get in a did he get in melee combat? He must have. Oh. One general's down. My lord, their general has fallen. Get in there. Hachi broke. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, all right. Damn, that went really good, dude. These foot samurai are fucking killer. They what? they took barely any losses. Yeah, that Holy was. Sad. You, I mean, you have so many archers. It's just it's just fun sitting there and making the enemy come towards them, you. Then I'm doing slaughtering thing, them. Yeah. What if uh, what if the the line is not a cutting blow, but my cut is bro. <laughs> That was, that was a shit okay, joke. Let's see. Sorry. Wow! 375 men to kill 1500. That's fucking beast. They should be dead though now. Let's see. Okay, so Foot Samurai killed 173, Foot uh, 155, 147, uh, 113, 86, and 62. Damn, not bad. Mm. Not too shabby. Oh, we did destroy the army. Yeah, because they ran away. Fucking sweet. Indeed. Okay. I can level up on this general, plus one loyalty if general, or plus one melee attack for this general as bodyguard, and minus 5% to the char uh, character's chance of being assassinated. Oh, yeah, I take the liar. You've already got six loyalty. Yeah, melee attack, yeah. Yeah. 
and the yeah. chance of being assassinated is always good. Right. Yeah, dude. Honestly, I I lo I think Creative Assembly they need to focus on historical shit, man. That's just that's just me, bro. I'm what did you guys. hear? Um, <laughs> speaking of the complete opposite. Yesterday, uh, by the time you guys watch this uh, on YouTube, it'll be a while ago. But yesterday they made a video. This was the weirdest thing they've done in a, in a while for me. They made a video called uh, The Future of Total War Three Kingdoms, in which they announced that they were going to stop developing Total War Three Kingdoms. Um, now, the reason they called it The Future of Total War Three Kingdoms is because they, are, they also basically announced they're working on a sequel of sorts. It's not exactly a sequel. It's also not linked to the first game. Like the, It's not like the Mortal Empires campaign on Wormer. It's just like a standalone game. We don't know anything about it yet. We don't even know if it's an actual strategy game. I would assume so. Uh, and then also the, the fact that they're apparently going to focus on the romance aspect. It's like it's going to be based on the romance story completely rather than, you know, Free Kingdoms had the records mode as well, which no one played. Um, oh, I did. I played it. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to play it at some point. Some people have asked me to play it. Oh, but oh, um, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. We do a co-op records mode. Oh, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Fucking but sweet. yeah, so so basically, yeah, they, they, they made a video called The the Future of Total War Free Kingdoms in which they announced they were going to stop all development, even though they, they had already talked about a northern expansion uh, in the past. So that it kind of sucked and it, it us content creators were told literally nothing well not literally nothing we were told there was going to be a video the day before and we were told nothing about the video just something about the future of free kingdoms and then the video was vague as fuck like they didn't say any they said a bunch of words but they didn't <laughs> say anything you know like they they were speaking but nothing came out if you know what i mean so this was like it was such a weird video and, and a bunch of us voiced our opinion on that in the uh, in the, par the content creator partner chat as well um, but Josh, who is like our manager, he's like, yeah, no, I, I understand your frustration, but I have nothing to say about this. Like, if this is, if this was nothing that he had, he couldn't do anything about it. And he was also kind of annoyed, I guess, of the, the fact that it was just so vague. But then they, uh, anyway, so a couple hours after the, they, they released that video, they actually changed the title to, um, I can't remember what it's now, but it's something about like, what's in store for Total War Free Kingdoms or moving on from Total War Free Kingdoms, something like that, uh, rather than the future of, because... The future. There is no. It's there's no future. They fucking decided that they're gonna stop developing it. Developing it. That's not a future. Which which is interesting because I mean honestly, I mean I I I think they've come quite far with Three Kingdoms. Yes. But like if they were to just keep developing it, I don't think anybody would complain. No. I I mean a lot of people would have would have liked that. I I just yeah. It's just such a weird situation. Like they. It's just weird because we, we already had other DLCs that we knew about that were coming and then just they just kind of decided like now nah, we're actually not going to do that anymore. It's like what I you can't just <laughs> you can't just tell us that you you're going to and then not do that. Like what, what the fuck? What do you mean? You know, I just do imagine it? cucumbers out there somewhere. He's like, you what, mate? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how cucumber sounds. Um. Right, I want to I wanna build this, uh, I was going to go for the Proving Grounds, yeah, so let's, I'm going to have to cancel some buildings, I guess I'll cancel this building in Noto, the Buddhist Sanctuary. Okay, yeah, so so I'm going to invade um, Hitachi next turn and maybe take Shimotsuke, I'm going to maybe try and buy it. Damn, son, that's we crazy. We shall see, we shall see. Either that or I'll just probably start advancing against uh, Fukushima as well, that's my next target, uh, between Hitachi and... and... Yeah, I think with this force, I should be able to take on anything they throw at me. They don't even have um, recruitment centers for actual regular troops. Okay, well, okay, to be fair, they just got a Koryu training grounds. Oh, God, they have, actually, you know what? They have a Koryu training grounds, which produces the Naginata attendants and the Bow Warrior Monks. And they have a Master Weaponsmith in that province. That's actually a little scary. <laughs> Naginata attendants with, like, 13 melee attack and be like, damn, son. Damn, boy. Although my samurai will take them on. Fuck them right up. In the arse. Right. Yeah, that was a decisive victory, man. That was good. It was indeed. Okay, so next turn I can buy a Chiga, or at least have a chance of buying a Chiga. It's not guaranteed. Uh, Yeah, I hope they don't attack me yet, because that army will probably mess me up in Kazuke. I know, you don't have any stand and fight, dude. Yeah, and I don't have Sick. any experience either. I do have, you know, my usual garrison, so at least I have three more units that I can chuck in there. But we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully they don't attack me for one more turn, then at least I have a chance of buying their time, which should be okay. <laughs> no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Um, right, I think 
I'm honestly good to go. Let's end this here turn. And then, and then should we end the turn from there, uh, or, or end the episode from there? Uh, probably a good idea that I can do one more. Ow! I got blockaded again. Yo! <laughs> Fucking Tyra, the good ideas? Yeah, I don't like that. They've got like, what was it, like a four or five units or something. Fuck on, back off, mate. Oh, oh, well, time to be doing some raids. Fucking oh, Christ. here they come. All right, they're giving me one more turn. That might be their oh, undoing. I want to get that trade node when I can. Fuck me, dude. Oh. You know what else I want to take? I want. Oh. Yes. Fuck them oh. up. Oh my god, they're gonna become. They're gonna become a shogun. If they lose they're their town, though. <laughs> if they lose oh that town god. of theirs. Oh my god. What is happening here? This is fucking wild. It's gonna be fucking tonal, dude. <laughs> <laughs> tonal. Oh, dude, it's gonna be fucking awesome. Absolute All right. Uh, so what's so what's going on here? Oh my god, Ashikaga, you dumb pieces of shit. They moved out of the province. Check it out. Yeah. Yeah, garbage. I can buy it now. I can buy it now, 95% chance for 600 bucks. Yeah, but you don't get the army. Either way, we're gonna end the episode here, right? Yeah, man, let's do it, let's do it. Cool, well, that'll be that. Thank you guys for watching. Next time, someone's gonna die. Find out next time who it is. Until then, have a good day, goodbye. Goodbye.